Hello everyone, this is Michael and Donna. We'd like to introduce you to our 2011 Tiffin Allegro Breeze Model 28BR. It's a diesel pusher and this coach is loaded. We want you to know that we have spared no expense in keeping her maintained and in top condition. The things you will see built into this coach on most other RVs, they are optional extras that cost a lot of extra money and they're all standard on this coach. So let's take a tour, starting outside with the mechanical equipment. Uh, for starters, there's only 46,000 miles on this coach. We live in it a lot, but we don't drive the wheels off it. We prefer to drive someplace and park the coach at a campground for a few weeks or a few months at a time. This ensures all systems are kept in good working order without putting excessive miles on the coach. We start the engines every couple weeks and always keep the batteries charged. So everyone, this coach has an international diesel engine with twin variable geometry turbochargers. This eliminates turbo lag at low RPM for good acceleration. The engine has a beautiful throaty sound. It purrs like a kitten. It's paired with a push button Allison transmission for easy downshifting and upshifting on hills. Now we have air brakes, air suspension, and an air ride leveling system. Everything you would want in a much larger diesel bus. We have a 152 inch wheelbase that gives great maneuverability in tight spaces. That's a pretty short wheelbase for a bus. Some of our friends have even called our rig the Ferrari of motorhomes because of its short wheelbase, lower profile, sleek look, good acceleration for a bus, agility on the road, and maneuverability in tight spaces. Now, we have new 265 inch tires on 19.5 inch one piece polished aluminum wheels. They have one piece specially made dually valve stems that eliminate the possibility for leaks and this size of tire uh, the size of it is rare for a bus and much less expensive to replace than most class a's for a set of six let me turn the uh, page on my script here on the script page, i want to make sure that you get everything that you're everything that you want to know about this coach. So we have an up front, a Cummins Onan 6,000 watt quiet diesel generator. Oil and filters are new on both the main engine and the generator. And we have a three, uh, 3M diamond shield up front on the coach here. It's just a um, some kind of a ceramic coating, but it is replaceable that goes across the front of the coach and it protects against rock chips. Uh, it's good, doesn't last forever, but it has protected the paint very well. You have a very large one piece panoramic windshield with large convex custom made wiper blades. This is a big piece of glass and it allows you great uh, views when you go down the road, you can see everything. And aside from the passenger window here and the driver's window, all the other windows on this coach are tinted, every single one of them. There's a lot of windows and they're big and it makes for a nice amount of light inside. And you have the ability to uh, cover them with either day shades or night shades. So you have blackout shades as well. So we're looking at the driver's side here. Now Tiffin calls this paint scheme uh, silver sand. And unlike most RVs, this is a full body paint job. All the striping you see here is no decals. All of this is paint. It's called full body paint, nothing to fade or peel. It's a beautiful paint scheme. It's a Tiffin original. Now down below here, you have 77 cubic feet of cargo space and you're looking all the way through outside to the other side. This is a pass-through belly compartment and it's a lot more storage space than you see 
on most class A's that are this uh, short. We've got a uh, functional vent for the cooktop in the kitchen right here, which vents uh, smoke from the stove outside. Most RVs don't have that. And you have a access plate here for your water heater. It's a six gallon dual powered water heater, either gas or electric. We have a uh, 50 amp shore power bay here with smart surge protection. Most RVs require an aftermarket surge protector to adequately protect the electrical system. On this one, it's built in. There's also an automatic transfer switch between shore power and generator power. And we have a water bay here. It has an outside shower, water pump, tank, fill drain, and flush valves. And this compartment is actually heated by the gas furnace for freeze protection. There's a, a, a furnace vent that goes down below and into this compartment and warms it in cold weather. And coming a little bit forward, we have a very large 20 gallon onboard propane tank with easy access for filling. And some other compartments on the driver's side. Here's a Here's an electrical compartment up front with some uh, disconnects and fuse panels. You have a, a lot of you have a lot of electrical gear on this coach. This is just one of two electrical compartments outside, and there's several inside. All right, let's see what else have we got here. We have uh, fuel fill caps on both the driver and the passenger side, which I think is pretty insightful so it doesn't matter which side you pull up to for a gas pump you can fuel from both sides a 65 gallon fuel tank feeds both the main engine and the generator with a twin filtration system for the diesel fuel well, let me switch pages again here all right so let's walk around to the passenger side. We have a, a very large power patio awning. And then we also have a smaller power entryway awning. And both of these are operated from switches that are just inside the front door here. We'll look at them in a bit. We have an upgraded Magnum, let's see, where are we? Right here. We have an upgraded Magnum inverter, converter, and battery charger, which streamlines a system that used to be much more complex. You can actually hear the cooling fan running in the inverter right now. Now, moving back here, we have a water filter. And behind this cover here are your black water and gray water storage tanks for your uh, toilet and your sink drains. Under here, the uh, white thing that you see there is the fresh water tank. It's a very large, it's about 120 gallons capacity. It's larger than most RV, much larger than most RVs. All right, and here we have a compressed air bay and it's upgraded with some equipment that you can ask me about later for greater reliability in the system. There's an auxiliary air connection that you can use right here to air up your tires on the road. You don't need a gas station for that. This is a condenser for your uh, cab air conditioner. So you actually have three air conditioners on this coach. You have two mounted on the roof and this one is for the cab when you're driving down the road. Here's another electrical compartment here with uh, fuse panels and disconnects. And these are your chassis batteries. These are the ones, it's two batteries and these are the ones that start your main engine. Now you have 
brand new coach and chassis batteries in this rig. So you have all four batteries are brand new. And coming over here, still on the passenger side, you've got a refrigerator access panel. You've got a furnace hot gas vent and access panel. And what you can't see is back behind this refrigerator access, there's a duct that goes up the side and to the roof. And it keeps the refrigerator uh, coil cooled and working properly in the back. Up here is a patio light. And you've got a power entryway step right here. And you've got turn signal activated side cameras on both the driver's side and the passenger side. Now to go with those turn signal activated cameras on the sides, you've got a backup camera right here in the back on the very top. And all three of these cameras go to a, a monitor that automatically switches between them right on the driver's console. Okay, let's uh, open the engine bay real quick here. And we're looking at the engine bay. Over here you've got your power steering fluid, you've got your engine and transmission oil dipsticks, you've got a, a uh, oh, what do you call that, a diagnostic port there that you can plug your handheld engine uh, diagnostic uh, thing into engine oil fill over here you've got a coolant tank for your enormous radiator here it's a very it's a special kind of coolant you don't use your normal uh, antifreeze it's a it's a red antifreeze made by shell has to have that particular kind you have a 5,000 pound tow capacity back here we've been towing a We've been towing a Jeep Wrangler, which it comes in at about 4,000 pounds. It's easy to tow, tows very well. We have a, we have a, a, a remote light system here. This transmitter transmits a signal to uh, battery powered lights that we hook up to the bumper of our Jeep and it works really well. Let me switch, let me switch pages one more time. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna step inside the coach here. And here's our, here's our welcome mat. And coming on in here, we would like to welcome you to our, to your new home. <laughs> now the coach batteries are right underneath this step here where the welcome mat is. There's a latch right there. I won't show them to you now. Here are the, uh, right inside the door to the left are the controls that I was talking about. The uh, patio and door awnings, the power entryway step, the lights on the outside, a, a switch on and off for the 12 volt power system and a ceiling light for inside here. Now, this Tiffin coach looks and feels like a real home. It's built with top quality components throughout to last a long time. Unlike most other RV brands which start to fall apart after a couple of years. Tiffin's legendary build quality is evident everywhere you look and touch. It has a modern yet classic styling and it is evident throughout the coach. So what we have here, we have solid hardwood cabinets and accents assembled with screws and glue, not the cheap press board and staples found in most other RV brands. Those things start to fall apart after a couple of years, but this coach really holds up. You have, uh, you have cup holders literally everywhere you look, even including the salon here in the dinette. So that going down the road, you're, you know, you can have a cup of whatever you want to drink. Now, the windshield here has power, 
both day and night shades. Here's a darker day shade and it goes down and up with a, a button here on the dash. And similarly, you have a blackout shade, which is oddly colored white. The blackout shade is white, haha. Uh -huh. And these are on power motors. Only the windshield shades are on power motors. The, uh, the rest of the shades throughout the coach are double shades as well, day and night shades. And they're on these, uh, they're on these manual retraction systems and, and they're built really well. They've, they've lasted, they, they're in great shape after all these years. Um, now, let's see, right here, this is right beside the driver's seat. You have your generator controls right here. You have a, a reading lamp here a radio switch here. You have uh, your day and night shades that we just looked at. You have a, a fan here for the driver and the passenger. And then over here, you have uh, some controls for your power uh, foot pedals. These foot pedals actually move in or out closer or further away to adjust for each driver. And this has a, uh, a tilt wheel. And we have here, we have push button transmission controls for the Allison transmission. Very easy uh, shifting for going up and down hills. This is a one touch leveling system control panel. Uh, it uses the air ride suspension to level the rig so there's no need for the use of leveling jacks. Yeah, let's see, what do we have? Here's your monitor for those turn signal activated side cameras and the backup camera that we were looking at. I'm gonna shut the screen door because I see bugs coming in. All right, there we go. Now we have three flat screen TVs in this coach. One is in the cockpit here and this is Really, we don't watch much TV, so this is really the only one that we use. But there's also another one here in the salon, and it's on a it's on an arm that swings out, and you can adjust the level, and it's fully adjustable on the arm there. And there's another TV in the in the bedroom back here, and up in this compartment over here, you've got some home theater components, there's a DVD player and whatnot, and some of the other TV components are up front here. The controls for the, uh, the controls for the satellite dish and the digital TV antenna. Now, as we said earlier, there's lots of large windows throughout the coach, which are rare for class A's. If you have to take a look at the coaches on the road, and all the windows have very high quality dual day and night shades like we were talking about and decorative uh, valances. Now we have leather captain's chairs here and this is really cool. I'm going to show you the, the leather captain's chairs are rotatable so that they become part of the salon seating when parked and uh, I uh, I'd have to make some adjustments on that. Uh, it's got power adjustments here that I would need to adjust to be able to turn that all the way around for you. So I'll, I'll just show you that it's adjustable for now. Now we have, a, we have a jackknife sofa here and that converts into a, a bed that sleeps two adults comfortably. We have a six foot three son and his fiance, they're able to sleep comfortably in this bed. And also uh, our son is able to take a shower in this shower being six foot three because there's a, there's a skylight in here and I'll show you that to you later. <clears throat> now the salon here, the salon is very spacious with, especially with the slide out extended. 
and this is especially large an especially large living space for a 28 foot coach now we have a beautiful circular dinette here that can convert to sleep two kids so you've got the main bed there sleeping two adults you've got the jackknife bed sleeping two adults and the circular sofa that can sleep two kids this table actually has a uh, an adjustment that you can move the tabletop down and fold it out of the way to make a bed